Today we're going to show you how to install this custom grill with this really cool lighting option on your 2015 through 2017 Mustang. This performance style Renegade grill is going to be a direct replacement for the factory grill in your 2015 through 2017 GT EcoBoost or V6 Mustang. Now again, it's going to install using the factory clips and it features DRLs as well as a set of fog lights with all the wire necessary for installation. It features a wide open center section to get massive airflow to your radiator or intercooler. For this installation, with a lift or a jack and jack stands or ramps, quarter inch ratchet, 5.5 millimeter socket, 7 millimeter socket, 8 millimeter socket, flathead screwdriver, and a small flathead screwdriver. To install our upper grill, we're going to have to remove the bumper cover, which isn't actually as bad as it sounds. The first thing we're going to do is remove this plastic radiator cover by removing all the little push pins. With the cover off, now you can see the six large screws. We're going to remove those next. And the last step up here, underneath this weather strip, two more small screws. All right, now we're moving down to the wheel. We'll have to pull back the splash shield itself so we can separate the bumper from the fender. Again, we have some more of these little push pin clips. And there's one more clip underneath here. We'll make it easier to remove the splash shield. And now we can pull the splash shield out. And then pull it back enough to reach the bolt, which is right here. Okay, I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. We'll move underneath. All right, running the car, we're going to remove these four splash shield screws here. Okay, after the four screws in the back, there's two more up front. And remove the four clips. Okay, so we're ready to remove the bumper. An extra set of hands will definitely come in handy here, but this part tends to break on these cars. You want to kind of get your hand behind it and sort of shimmy it out. And it'll pop off. Get the sides off. You can lift up the center section here, get it off the studs. And then the wiring harness will be over on the driver's side. Driver side, then I'll plug mine. And remove it from the car. All right, so we have the bumper up on a table. Put something down to protect it because it's going to go face down at some point. But the easiest way to get these clips off is with two people. What you want to do is have one person push on the outside while you remove the clips on the inside. So we get these clips off. If you can see the blue, this is part of the body. The clip comes up over the edge of the grill and then is held in place by this back piece. What you kind of have to do is sort of push it away while pushing the grill. So that's why it's nice to have an extra set of hands to do this. Always start on the ends, usually right in here. Once you get a couple of them going, it will get a little bit easier, but take your time because you can't actually pull this right off the body if you're not careful. Okay, we got that one. Let's go down here in the corner. And you'll hear it kind of make a little pop when they come off. There we go. No, it's not for sale. Okay, now with the grill face down, we're going to take our new Renegade grill. You can line it up with all the factory tabs. What you want to do though is make sure it is seated on all of them before you start pressing down. It is easy to have a couple on the inside or outside. Okay, and then you want to press down. Kind of hold underneath and sort of push. It is a tight fit, but you will hear them clip in once you get it tight. Possibly. All 
right, now put the support back in. Our new grill comes with the factory clips. Okay, we wired up everything quickly just with the battery so you can see how everything works, plus the test lights before we put the bumper back together. Here you can see with the DRLs on, and then here's the fog lights. This is the wiring harness that's included with the grill. Now you've got these connections here. These are for your DRLs, and that's gonna be for your fog lights. And you're gonna have a blue wire and a ground. These are gonna be for the DRL hookup. The blue is gonna wire into your factory headlight wiring to trigger the DRLs. Then you have two power leads, which can go to either switched or constant power. I suggest switched. And then you have a ground. Once you have power hooked up, this is how you turn the fog lights on. Now, the reason I recommend putting these on a switched power lead, if you put them on constant, this actually lights up red when it's off and green when it's on. It's gonna be lit up all the time. That way, if you put it on switched, your fog lights will only turn on when the car's running. We're gonna take both of our grounds and use this factory ground located right here. Now we're gonna disconnect the headlight and tap in the blue DRL wire. The kit includes these wire taps, and the wire we're gonna be tapping this is gray with the purple tracer. Now again, if you would like to solder, I highly recommend you do so, but these are included. Now to make sure that's locked tightly on there, then we're gonna put a terminal on the other end. Put the terminal on the blue wire that's included in the harness. Connect the positive wire to our plug here. And the last two connections are for the switched power. Now you can actually put this one here that comes with the spade on it to one of these terminals here for constant power. This wire here, you need to go to switched. These fuses right here, these four, they're all switched power from the factory. I would suggest getting a fuse adapter and you can tap into any one of these four. Okay, now we're gonna plug everything in. Good. Okay, we'll start putting the bumper back together now. Make sure all the alignment tabs are seated properly and reinstall the original screws. Don't forget the little screws in the corner here underneath the weather strip. All right, now the radiator cover can go back on. Now move down to the wheel wells. Okay, now we're gonna carefully reinstall the screw. It goes from the fender through the bumper. Reinstall the splash shield and all the factory clips. Okay, underneath now we'll reinstall all the push pins. And then reinstall all the screws. your installation is finished. Our Renegade Upper Performance Grill looks great in our 2015 Mustang GT. Now this one does have the DRL running lights and fog lights as well. Now I should mention these fog lights will turn on with the factory fog lights if you have the switch on. You don't want to drive around on public roads with four fog lights. Trust me, you're going to get pulled over. But on a back road, it's going to add a lot more visibility. As far as the installation goes, it's pretty straightforward. You do got to pull the bumper off, but figure about three hours, be back on the road in no time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click on the CJ button so you subscribe for future videos and click the corner up here for more videos for your Mustang.